Probably the simplest way to explain the perceived cost overruns to the public is that when we um, estimate a project like this, and it's, a, it's a large project. Uh, in the case of our project in South Carolina, you're looking at about $10.5 billion original projection. Um, we, we would include the cost not only of construction and materials, but also contingencies that we would, we would anticipate that we would accrue over the construction phase uh, and escalation. Now, we were not allowed to include the contingencies in our approved budget. So when we go back in to get the contingencies, um, our commission, our state commission, understands that those contingencies exist, but they want us to come in and ask for them, in our case, annually. So when you see those um, reports that we have um, requested more money for the project, it is, it is in that contingency pot that we would go in and ask for that, uh, those additional funds. Um, in our case, our reactors were originally proposed to come in at about $10.5 billion. Our current estimate is that they will be under $10 billion. So uh, to say that we're over budget is a bit of a misnomer. In fact, we, we plan to come in under budget. And that's largely because the escalation factors is, are lower and the allowance for funds used during construction is lower. Uh, but we're building in a time of, of very, very low inflation, so we're, we're fortunate from that respect.